All right, so yeah, this is the uh, Barrel Nation 2020 pick from Hagerstown, Maryland. Uh, so I now have Maker's Private Selection from like six different states. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that I was huge on the Maker's Picks when I first got like two or three of them. And now I have like 20 and yes. they're all different. I don't have any duplicates at the moment. I can't. I can't yeah. compete. I can no longer compete at all. Yeah. I mean, I can't compete with your beam and your Irish, so. I don't expect you to ever compete with my beam. I'm obsessed with beam. Or Irish, because Irish is as much fun. Yeah. But, so this one is like the stave profile I, I like. Because it's two pure, one forty six, three mocha, four spice. I like the mocha and spice heavy ones. It's fruity. It is. Dried fruit, cherry for sure. That's that's definitely the spice. Uh, the spice taste coming. Yeah. A little bit of warmth. This has like like Maker's forty six level cherry spice. Yep. It has a little bit of apple to it. Not the same way that uh, Elijah Craig has like straight up green apple to it. This is more like a red delicious apple. I don't get any of like the usual dessert and candy notes I get from a lot of Maker's Picks. This is a very fruity one. Yes. Carries through to the palate. It's Mm -hmm. sweet, appley. Fruity, carries into some spice, finishes with a little bit of bite. Finishes with some chocolate. I'm getting a little bit, yeah. A little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. Not that I noticed it. Yeah. Yeah, the mocha staves don't aren't as emphasized. You know what it reminds me of at the end? Hmm. Almost like a chocolate covered cherry. Or chocolate covered strawberry, you know, like a kind of lighter fruit. More so cherry because Maker says cherry all throughout the whole thing. I'm but getting it. I see yeah. it. Okay. Well, hello. Here, the dog to say hi to. Oh, hi, dog. This is my house. <laughs> <laughs> Alpha. Alpha. <laughs> you are beta. I like this. It it doesn't stand out as my favorite maker's right. pick, but but again, it's still it's like it's a maker's pick and it's tasty. <laughs> and it still falls in the line of I can't tell you one that tastes just like this. Exactly. In fact, I can't at all. I haven't had one this fruity at all. That's a new one for me. Sir, how can I help you? No, he's fine. <laughs> but yeah, I not, like not, it. Not much to say other than it, like it's. <laughs> It doesn't line up with my taste as much. It's very middle of the road. It's a, little, like. it's a lot less complex than a lot of other ones we've had, too. Right. But it has really good flavor. Wow. Yes. Like, the nose is fruity. The flavor is mostly just sweet bourbon notes with a little bit of chocolate and fruit mm-hmm. throughout. Chocolate covered, chocolate covered cherry at the finish, and that's, like, the most notable thing. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. No, it's no, a no. maker's pick. It's going to be good. Right. But... This is sort of like that seven cure three mocha where I'm like, this isn't my favorite. It's I wouldn't buy backups of it. No. If another place made the same pick, I'd probably still buy it because it's gonna be different. Yep. It's a little single barrel. This one is someone it, else could do this pick and it's super chocolatey, you never know. It's simple. It does what it sets out to do. It's a simple, solid, good whiskey. Yeah. There's just better maker's picks for the same price. Yeah. So not all of them can be the best. Not all of them can be fine wine and good spirits. Not all of them can be some of those Ohio liquor ones from this year either. Some of those are, those, some of those rival. Let's be real. No arguments there whatsoever. The brownie sundae and the chocolate covered almond easily oh, rival God, some of yeah. the makers' picks that fine wine and good spirits has had. Oh yeah. But no, this is really good. Yeah, 